going to grow, it was going to require some serious civil engineering. And Seattle rose to the task. <laughs> There's one thing wrong. What is it? We got hills like rolls on a fat man's bottom. Got more darn hills than falls got on them. And we can't build on them, and we can't get across them. We can't grow with them, or we can't just toss them. We need a solution, and we need it quite shortly. Or we'll be as hindly and podunk as Portland. Oh. I know, well. <laughs> was shot at with hoses and washed away. Then a hill was removed and carried into the bay. Seattle's got another problem. What's that you say? I'm saying we've got a jam. We've got this hurdle we have to cross. Uh -huh. and there's this one thing wrong. What is it? We got more boats than the Earth's got quakes. We got a great big between them, because we can't get to them. We can't get across them. We can't get through them. We need to do better. We need to improve them. Or we'll lose our business to towns like Vancouver. Uh -huh. Vancouver, Washington. Uh -huh. I know. Anybody got any ideas? Like Washington was nine feet lower. Yes, it's true. <laughs> Seattle's got another problem. What's that you say? We've got a conundrum. It's a sort of mind-blowing, complicated. Uh, there's this one thing wrong. Okay. What is it? Well, we're growing like weeds, but we need more power. We're doubling our electricity use every we got fields of oil and a mine of coal, but not enough for a whole town. We need a solution to this electric hunger, and we need it now. We ain't getting no younger. At least I'm not. I'm not here. I turned 41. We got lots of mountains, and from them flow rivers. Let's build up some dams and let nature deliver. But what are the floodplains and proper siltation of riverside towns and salmon migration? behind the Grand Coulee, uh, and on to the gorge, the Grand, and the Saddle, and uh, the old boundary dam, which fuels half of Seattle.
walk the black ball ferry line up in Seattle where the sun shines up, shines up in Seattle where the whistles blow and the bells go and the ferry boats are chugging right along, right along. Oh, the people love to ride the blue Pacific on the black ball ferry line to be specific where the whistles blow and the bells go and the ferry Chugging right along, right along. On the upper deck, the view is great by heck. You get your gallop heck and you're in clover. And when the whistles blow, you hate to go below. Cause that's a signal that the fun is nearly over. On the Black Ball Ferry line up in Seattle, every single GOP and Democrat will hear the whistles blow. And the bells go. And the ferry boats are chugging right along. Chippewa, the Killers, the Kalakalas. You'll find all these on the Black Ball Line, the Kalani, the Swami, there's a Bellahat. Oh, think of that! There goes my hat. Yes, yes. City of Sacramento. <laughs> what are we doing in California? On the Black Ball Ferry Line up in Seattle, where the sun shines out and shines up in Seattle, where the All the ferry boats are chug to chug and all the ferry boats are chug to chug and all the Well, at this point, we should bring to notice that we are standing in front of a vast cabinet of Seattle's curiosities. Every one of these glass cases and things are filled with relics from Seattle's past, some more famous than others. And right now, we'd like to give you some musical interpretations of what you see, but we're going to need some volunteers. I see we got one already. All right, so one, two, three, four, and five. Why don't you come on up and find yourself. One of these little wheels to turn. Let's get somebody here. And let's get somebody here. And let's get some. It is a lot. We might have to cut it short. Let's do that. That's a good one. Okay. All right. Okay. So, you guys all man your stations. When I point to you, and I don't know if we'll have time to get to everybody, you at least get to stand up to turn your wheel. All right? When I point to you, I'm going to have you turn your wheel, and I want you to keep turning it until I tell you to stop. Okay? It's going to be hard work. Let's see who we're going to start with. Um, let's start with you over here, sir, since you're all the way over this side. Okay, go ahead and turn it, crank it like mad, let's see what we got. Oh, it's the Calacula. Okay, the Calacula. Well, got a little song for that. Keep turning. Keep turning. Keep turning. Who remembers the Calacula when it was in Union Bay? Me too. Well, we're going to tell you where it is now. Nobody wanted the fairy Calacula. Went to Alaska. And it came back. Finally found an apartment at home along. Now the Calacula. Down in Tacoma. Bart, who was here for the 1962 World's Fair? Hey. Good. Oh, good. All right. Well, you might remember Black Bart. It was one of the favorite tourist attractions. It's a quick draw contest. Yeah. And while most of the festival was aimed at the future, Black Bart here stuck in the past. Got a little song for you. Go ahead and turn it as far as you There we go, it's from here. Okay. Now, again, some of you that have been around might remember this old iconic television commercial from the 1970s. Okay, keep turning. Ready? Acres of clay. 
that. Now, you've probably by now all had Ivor's seafood. What you might not know is that the famous slogan, Acres of Clams, actually came from an old folk song that was derived in the mining era. So we have learned that folk song. We'd like to learn it for you. For each one that got wealthy from Manhattan, so many hundreds get more. I made up my mind to try digging for something a little more sure. No longer a slave to ambition. Businesses have thrived here. First logging, shipping, then computer software, bioengineering, telecommunications. You know, sci skyscrapers stand now where there were once huge Douglas fir trees. And nothing stays the same. I mean, we tore down the kingdom before it was even paid for. <laughs> well, one thing is for certain though, Seattle is a town of change. Always on the cutting edge of modernity, always solving problems. And sometimes creating new problems to solve in the process. Yeah, I'm talking to you, Bertha. Well, we wrote this song to tie everything together. Happy Memorial Day, everybody. <laughs> 